Hello, welcome back. Um, right here in front of us is Batman 251, uh, the best copy I have. This is a gorgeous looking book, as you can see. I have a bunch of uh, copy of this book, but this is the nicest one. It has uh, a couple of spine tick, as you can see right here. That's the major flaw, but other than that, uh, it's a pretty sharp looking book. Um, one thing I want to um, talk about is, you know, this is a great cover. Uh, I did debate it for a while if I wanted to include it in my top five um, Batman covers that Neil Adam did. But in the end, I left it out because uh, there's so many other things that was great about this book that uh, it can get other prices beside the best five covers um, anyhow this is the book and let me show you what's neat that I discovered over the years of buying other copy of this book you notice the different color this one is more purple I'm not sure if other people have noticed, but there are quite a few uh, variant of this book as far as the color of the cover. As you notice, the Joker here is more green. And so I tend to think that this is the right color. And something went wrong in the printing process that uh, maybe one of the color mix was uh, missing that uh, give you this shade in that you have a more purple looking um, cover and then the Joker's uh, face and hair as you can see even his color is definitely not green but that's neat that's you know one of those few little things that uh, I discovered recently and then if you some of you may have remember I have a double cover of this issue that I show in a previous video and this one is even lighter so you have three shades you get dark blue and then you have a light blue I prefer this one the most it's just because it, it's more representative of the color of uh, the Joker's hair green this one lighter green but as you can see so there's like three different shades of this book and normally you know the first inkling to say is this book is faded somehow because uh, you know some, if, a, if a store left a book out uh, you know after a while it does get faded but that's not the case because as you know this is a double cover so you know, it's not a, a fading issues. It's just the way it was printed. So, as you can see, even the the cover underneath, the the, the top cover is also lighter shade. So it has nothing to do with, with with a fading issue. But it's just a neat variant to point out that there's literally three different shade of colors for this cover. But. Uh, I want to bring this one out more, be, even though it did not make the top five favorite covers. It definitely rank as my favorite New Adams Batman book that have uh, the Joker. This is a great book. On top of being my favorite New Adams Joker storyline. It also have my favorite New Adams Batman splash page. This is such an awesome splash page. I can stare at this picture all day. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the details. It's gorgeous. No doubt, this is one, like I said, my favorite New Adams Batman storyline. This book, you know, have his art inside. 
and uh, also what's also make it slightly better than some of the other book is it is also ink by him um, I think outside of Tom Palmer it's hard to find an inker that does justice to Adam's skills in the 70s um, you know I find that uh, Dick Giordano, uh, the the inker that worked with uh, Adams a lot over at DC, is not that good in my opinion. He has his ups and downs. Uh, he reminded me of uh, Vince Coletta over at Marvel. You know, like when Vince ink Jack Kirby, is very inconsistent in my opinion. Some issues, even some page turn out great and then some came across somewhat lacking of something or lazy in that it's light in uh, his inking and so the same thing can be said with uh, Giordano you know I think um, often I find his inking to be lacking and uh, it just doesn't uh, improve the penciling that Adam put down if not it might even take away some of the great penciling so as you can see this one we are lucky to have Neil Adams did his own inking and for the most part I think the art is just stunning and gorgeous you know it's definitely one of my favorite uh, Neil Adams book on the interior to flip through it is just great as you can see uh, in another video I would do some comparison between Neil Adams inking his own compared to uh, Dick Giordano doing the inking because you can see when Neil ink is much sharper you know he's put a little bit more uh, ink and a little bit heavier which make the the image pop out uh, better than the way uh, other inkers did his work but if you have uh, not have a chance to uh, read through this book, you know I think uh, you'll be very happy uh, if you ever pick it up because the art inside is beautiful and, like I said, uh, it's nothing better than having Neil Adams um, inking his own penciling. But anyhow, um, thanks for watching, and there you go, my favorite Neil Adams Joker book. Thanks for watching.